Have you wondered what drill or pickaxe is the best to use in Hypixel Skyblock? Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys the best drills for early, mid and late game players. And yes, we're on a road to 69,000 subscribers. So if you guys could subscribe with the notifications on, that would mean a lot to me. But let's get into it. So here we are and let's go ahead and get it started with the early game pickaxes. Now, one of the very first pickaxes is for the very, very early game players, which is the Fracture of Mithril pickaxe. Now, this pickaxe pickaxe is pretty amazing because it does have breaking power of 5, mining speed of 200 and this pickaxe is only 10,000 coins at boo boo. And of course don't forget to put the enchantments on it like efficiency 5, fortune 3 and telekinesis. But anyways moving on to the next item which is this right here and this is Piconombius 2000. It does have a breaking power of 7 and a mining speed of 1,500. Now this pickaxe is pretty cheap. It will cost you about 500,000 up to 800,000 coins. Or you can also get it as an epic drop from the crystal nucleus. And of course the reason why this pickaxe is outstanding is well you can break most of the gemstones that are in the crystal hollows. As you guys can see most of them do require breaking power of 7 which this pickaxe does have. Anyways moving on. Whoa. Anyways, moving on, we have the Refined Mithril Pickaxe, which is outstanding for early game players in the Dwarven Mine. And as you guys can see, this pickaxe is about 1.7 million coins. Now, you do get mining speed of 300, and when mining Mithril, you get plus 50. Now, as you can see, the Refined Titanium Pickaxe does have mining speed of 400, but you do require Heart of the Mountain Tier 4, while the Refined Mithril Pickaxe does not have that. Now, of course, if you don't end up buying it on the auction house, you can come down to the Forger and go down to item casting and refine Midfield Pickaxe. Well, there's quite a few things that's going to be required. It's going to cost you about 1.6 million to buy the materials. And it does take 19 hours to craft, which uh, is uh, quite a lengthy time. Now that we have talked about the early game pickaxes, it's time to move on to the mid game pickaxes or should I say drills because uh, yeah, these are drills over here. Now one of the first drills is mainly for the Dwarven Mines and this is the Refined Mithril Drill R226, not R326 and this pickaxe is uh, well pretty amazing. The 226 does require Heart of the Mountain tier 3 and it takes about 4 hours in the fortune to craft and it's not that expensive. If you were to buy it on the auction house right now it would cost you about 3.1 to 3.6 million coins. Now what I did with the 226 is once I reached tier 4 of the Heart of the Mountain I went ahead and upgraded it into 326 which meant that I was able to use the same pickaxe over and over again and for instance my compact level just kept rising up there which is obviously amazing of course your enchantments and reforges you transfer over when you actually go ahead and upgrade it now at the moment the 326 is not that expensive it's about 13 million coins so this is definitely in the mid game range however this pickaxe won't come in handy if you're going to be using it in the crystal hollows because of the breaking power being six but in that case you do have the ruby drill model which is fairly cheap I would say. You get a fair amount of mining speed and also breaking power of 7 and yeah I had to go into small mode because there's no way I can view this pickaxe properly otherwise. <laughs> now at the moment this pickaxe goes for about 5 million coins and these prices might be still dropping since this is a fairly new pickaxe but this is definitely one of the best pickaxes to use especially in the beginning when you start out mining gemstones. Now one of the reasons why it's definitely a drill to have is because you can actually go ahead and upgrade it later into the gemstone drill model which is a way better version of the ruby drill and it's currently Currently dropping in prices pretty fast. It's about 13 million coins now and of course you can make them in the forger. And as we speak about it the ruby drill just finished up in here which I actually crafted for a fairly low price. I'm gonna sell that into profit in a bit. Now as you guys can see the ruby drill takes only one hour to make and the ingredients are pretty simple. Once you do have this you can go ahead and upgrade it into gemstone pickaxe which only requires free gemstone mixture in addition to that and it only takes 25 seconds to make. But but those were the ones for the mid game so in conclusion the mithril drill is pretty amazing mid game for the dwarven mines and fairly cheap and then obviously the ruby drill model is a good base start for mining gemstone. 
But now the time has come to move on to the late game stages and here we actually have quite a few different options. One of the first ones is a titanium drill 455. Five. This is a good start where you can begin because you have 555 five, five, and then you also have 655. Five. Uh, yeah, quite a bit of 55s. Five Anyways, as you guys can see, this drill is, uh, well, pretty crazy that you can't even see the stats on. Now, this drill does come with mining speed of 900 and mining fortune of 40. And yes, it does have a breaking power of 8, which means that you're going to be able to mine the gemstones with this pickaxe without any problems, unlike with the mithril one in the mid-game stages. Anyways, this pickaxe is fairly expensive, and as you guys can see, right now, the lowest price is about 45 million coins for it up to even 50 million coins and indeed this pickaxe can be made in the forger but first you're gonna be needing the 355 which uh, takes over two days to make it does have quite the requirements it does cost about 18 million then once you have that you can go ahead and upgrade that to 455 where it does get fairly expensive and if you feel like 455 isn't enough for you and you do have quite a bit of money left over well you can go ahead and make it into 555 which um, yes gets pretty expensive because of the requirements here. If you were to buy the 555 right now you're going to be spending almost 125 million coins on it. And if you thought that 125 million on a drill isn't enough, well you also do have the new drill which is the 655 and it does cost you about 240 million coins up to 250 but you do require heart of the mountain tier 7 so unless you breathe crystal hollows all day all night for quite a few days well you can go ahead and get that <laughs> Anyways, for the next item, it is the Gemstone Gauntlet. Now, this does require Heart of the Mountain Tier 6, and it will cost you about 68 million coins to craft it by yourselves at the Forger. And as you guys can see, if you were to buy it right now in the Auction House, it's gonna cost you about 90 million coins, which is fairly expensive. But this pickaxe can potentially make the money back for you, especially if you put the Enchantment Pristine on it. And a lot of people have been right now mining tokens with this pickaxe and apparently you can make lots of stones. Now the pristine enchantment book is unlocked under the gemstone collection level 8 and as you can see this increases the chances of getting better gemstones and this can be outstanding. Anyways another drill that's worth mentioning is the topaz drill. Now I don't have that I'm holding a gemstone drill but the topaz drill is a upgraded version of the gemstone drill and uh, here it is. As you can see, the Topaz drill is about 42 million coins. And this is also a pretty good drill to go with. Now, there is one more drill that's better than potentially all of them. And well, that drill is called the Diamond's Drill. At the moment, it hasn't been released yet, but this will be in the game in the near future. So this is another drill to look out for. And if you guys are watching this video and you're wondering if there is any other bonus items that are gonna help you out in the Crystal Hollows or Dwarven Mines, well, yes, you do have a Jungle Pickaxe, which is amazing if you're doing the Sludge Commissions because it does spawn sludges in the jungle area. And then also Royal Pigeon, which is pretty much crucial at crystal hollows to actually go ahead and get your commissions done you click it open and then you can just have the commission menu open but anyways this is it i hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode and if you could take a moment to drop a like and subscribe that would mean a lot to me and i hope to see you guys in the next one peace out